thank you, thank you, thank you very much. It's very nice to be here. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell by my accent, I didn't grow up around here. I'm from the States, uh, from the free state. <laughs> oh! <laughs> um, yeah, man. So, I mean, uh, you know, I grew up in Bloemfontein, and I remember about a year ago, uh, close to a year ago, when the xenophobic attacks broke out. So the government had this great idea that they're going to put posters all around the townships to denounce xenophobia. Now, xenophobia is like a very big word, right? And a lot of people who are perpetrating these crimes are uneducated people, right? So now you just imagine, like, these guys see this sign there, you know, say no to xenophobia. You always see it written there, say no to kleno, kleno, klenophobia. Like, hey, this process is difficult, eh? <laughs> <laughs> so you got a lot of crimes were perpetrated against Zimbabweans, right? There's a lot of Zimbabweans here. We've got so many Zimbabweans in South Africa that even the Nigerians are complaining. <laughs> like, hey, they take our women and I take our jobs. <laughs> So, so I remember like when this thing was going on, right, um, I heard a news report and, and, and the news report went, um, the spate of xenophobic attacks is on the increase. We cross over to a member of the ANC Youth League to hear what he has to say. Then I remember thinking, <laughs> <laughs> this numbskull comes on the radio and says, uh, yes, uh, the ANC Youth League is particularly, because I like to use that word particularly, right, <laughs> is particularly concerned about these uh, xenophobic attacks particularly against foreign people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, do you know what xenophobia means? 